Okay guys, today on what to do, we have a steel chainsaw in the shop and maybe you're having this problem also where the chain is not spinning or it keeps getting caught or it's just, uh, you know, you're giving it gas and the bar, the chain is not moving at all, okay? You probably have a bad spur sprocket and it's a really simple fix and I'll show you what causes this problem. So for sake of the video, I had already loosened everything up, but to take this side cover off, you're going to have these two nuts right here, okay? And this just pulls right off. All right, now this is your spur sprocket right here. If you look, see the grooves in there? So what happens is the chain falls down into those grooves and it gets locked up and it will get jammed in there. And when this tries to turn, it just jams up because the chain is stuck in those grooves right there. So when you're uh, looking at your spur sprocket, look, at, look for grooves in there. And if it's starting to wear, you might want to replace it. And the good thing is, is it's actually really simple. So you're going to have um, some saws. The, the sprocket is actually separated here. Um, but this is all one big cover with the sprocket attached to it. But we're going to have a little C-clip right here. And you're going to stick a screwdriver inside that C-clip. And you're going to pry that off. Okay. And then you're going to have a washer right on the top. You just pull that washer off. Set that down with each other so you know which way it goes back in. And now, if you can't pull up on this, just come up here and disengage this. And you should be able to, I'm sorry, should be able to, there you go, pull that right off of there. Okay, see that's all one piece. And underneath there we have our clutch. All right, so now our new piece over here, and if you need a uh, model number, there it is right there, LE08E02. So our new piece basically is going to go back on there like that. And then you're going to put your washer on and then go ahead and put your C-clip on, which I would need both hands to do that. All right, but looking at the new sprocket, you can see there is no grooves in there. And now your chain will spin freely and stop getting jammed up. I have the new sprocket on, I put the cover back on and I put my new chain on. Now, what was happening with this one, and I showed you before, I don't know if you can see, see all the grooves in that sprocket? Okay, so if your chain is not spinning when you're trying to pull on it, there's either, either uh, two things usually. You got your brake on, so you want to take the brake off, and, and then your chain is spinning. But after you've done all of your adjustments, this chain should spin freely, you know, minus when the brake is on, it's not going to spin it's the break but your chain should spin freely now if it doesn't or it does a little bit and then locks up you might want to check your spur sprocket all right also another thing too if you're tightening your chain and you're adjusting it right and then when you start the saw and you uh, run it a couple of times the chain comes loose well that's because you get these high and low spots inside of the sprocket so when you're tightening the chain it might be sitting on a high spot right and the chain gets tight and then when you start the saw and you run it this will turn and maybe the chain sinks down into a low spot and now your chain is becoming loose and that's basically it it's not really a hard job so uh please guys if you hit subscribe below give me a like i do these videos daily and i'll see you next time